Why do most animal babies look like their parents? Well, animals have characteristics we can see. Can you spot some characteristics of this zebra? If you noticed striped black and white fur, you're right. Good observation. Let's look for some more characteristics. Wow, zebras also have ears on top of their heads. Aren't you glad our ears aren't up there? Do you see anything else? Oh look, zebras have tails too. Boy, those characteristics sure are different from ours. But where do animals get these characteristics from? Well, they get them from their parents. Can you tell who each animal baby belongs to? Look carefully so you can find traits that match. Let's start with that first cub over on the left. Well, the first cub belongs to a cheetah. Notice some of the characteristics that are the same between parent and offspring. Both have a stripe on their face, lean legs, and small spots all over. How about this tiger cub? Did you guess that right? Awesome! You notice that a tiger has orange and white fur with black stripes. This baby sure got some cool characteristics from its parents. Now let's look at the next cub. Can you tell who its mom is? Well, that's the leopard. Notice how it has large spots all over its body, just like its parent. I bet you can get this next cub right. These lion cubs share the same fur color as their parents. This color helps it hide in the grasslands. What a cool characteristic to have. But what about people? Hmm. Well, we get characteristics from our parents too. Let's take a moment to test ourselves and see if we can find matching characteristics. Can you tell which teachers belong to which parents? Look closely at their characteristics. Let's start with Miss Garcia. Hmm, can you guess which parents are hers? Miss Garcia has a smile just like her mom's. Notice that even her eye color is the same as her parents. Do you have the same eye color as one of your parents? How about Miss Andrews? Can you guess which parent or parents are a match? If you guess this dad, you are correct. Miss Andrews and her dad share the same face shape and smile. When you're done testing your teacher knowledge, take a look in the mirror and see who your smile looks like. That leaves Miss Ruiz. Now take a look at Miss Ruiz's parents. Doesn't she look so much like her dad? She has the same face shape and eyebrows. Characteristics passed down from parents to offspring. Here are more teachers. What about them? Let's take a look closely at their characteristics. Can you tell which parents they belong to? Let's start with Miss Griffin. I'll give you a few seconds to guess which parents are hers. Check out those matching smiles. She even has her dad's blue eyes. Notice how hair color can also pass down from parent to offspring. Isn't it neat how we can also resemble our brothers and sisters? Next, try to guess Miss Ventura's parents. If you guess this mom and dad, you are right. Look at Miss Ventura's mom's strong eyebrows that were passed down to her daughter. So was her straight, beautiful dark hair.
Can you guess Miss Kennedy's parents? I'm sure you guessed this one right. Just look at how much Miss Kennedy and her mom look alike. Which leaves us with Miss Farrell. Look at that cute little girl in this picture. That's a young Miss Farrell. Do you see how she got her dad's eye and hair color? Even dimples are a characteristic that passes down from parent to offspring. How neat. Hmm, do all animal babies look like their parents? Well, that's a great question. Not all animals look like their parents when they're born. Next week, we'll learn about how some animals look very different and change on their journey to adulthood. Well, I'll see you next time.